Hello there. Today I am going to show you one case of small pupil and few tips how to manage it. As you can see here, the pupil size is quite small, around 3 millimeters, and otherwise the cataract great too. A pre-operative good evaluation is very important while operating such cases. I strongly recommend pupil expander devices to be used if you are not comfortable with the given size of a pupil. Additionally, if there is patient like who is on multiple medications and can have an issue of floppy iris, then better to have intraoperative pupil expander devices. Do watch every step of your surgery right from incisions, the drug used, preoperative and intraoperative drugs, the type of viscoelastic material and try to handle tissue very carefully. Here I have tried using intracameral adrenaline. Staining of anterior capsule is very important. Go below the pupil margin and inject the trypan blue dye so that the capsule is stained even from even below the pupil wash away all trypan blue from anterior chamber and from below the iris rexis is very important while operating a small pupil case you should always target for a bigger rexis and looking at a flap of a, your rexis margin you can realize how much millimeter your rexis is. Here I am going to demonstrate my rexis size. As you can see, it is a bit oval size of rexis. One side it is showing a 6.5 mm. On other meridian it was 5.5 mm. So that much amount of rexis for grade 2 cataract was enough for me to manage my case. To a prime importance to first two steps of the surgery and do not touch the probe unless and until you are satisfied and have a good rotation of your nucleus and do multiple times hydro dissection below the iris you can use the left hand to lift or to make the iris on one side and do the hydro dissection by looking at a margin of a ccc I preferably use a high density viscoelastic for these type of cases and I recommend to use particular type of drugs which are made for that particular purpose because they increase your safety and comfort. Do not overfill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic material.
use preferably a long chopper you should have a stable anterior chamber take care of that a long chopper is always helpful in small people cases but you need to have a good expertise hand try to hold the nucleus in the center and tilt it once you have tilted the nucleus you can chop if you can't chop just keep rotating the nucleus and keep eating away the superior pole cortex and the nucleus as you can see i am keeping my probe in a very much center keep eating the pieces one by one small pieces whatever comes in the way you must finish off first do not leave multiple small pieces in the anterior chamber which can cause your endothelium damage It is good if you can take your epinuclear plate with the help of FACO probe because that will make the things much easier. While doing irrigation aspiration in a small pupil case, it is good practice to have an angulated IA probe. Go in, do not try to take a cortical matter at one place. Swipe the IA probe horizontally so that it gets a good enough grip of cortical matter and you can take it up. You can use your left hand instrument to check whether any cortical material is left behind. While injecting the IOL, try to have vertical direction so that your leading haptic goes directly in a bag and with the help of left hand you can direct the trailing haptic into the bag. Again for viscoelastic wash, use high vacuum, high flow rate. Try not to go very close to pupil margins. You can still even in a small pupil wash behind the IOL and you can use your left hand to see peripheral area for any left out cortical material. I usually practice to keep some viscoelastic material at the wound margin.
Thank you for your patience.